Hello everybody and welcome to this process overview in which I'm talking about the differences and advantages and cons between the OBJ and the USDC export and import format. So let's talk about the USDC format and what is actually really great about it. What is logically one of the most striking aspects of it is that when you export from Shaper 3D, it comes with the materials. But you see, there are no materials coming with the OBJ format. So that is actually a really a great winner for when you design something in Shaper and all the materials you were able to use there is what you need, then that honestly is a perfect format to use. In terms of labor, the USDZ format does require a little bit more of cleanup. So I have to select all these individual fragments and then go to join everything and then it's in one mesh. If I go into the edit mode, I can then select everything because individual fragments are still not perfectly joined. And what I can do now is go to mesh, clean up, merge by distance, set this to be really now, and I want to turn on the sharp edges. So basically what I did was I took all these individual fragments, put them into a container and via the merging, I joined them all together into one piece. So the outcome is actually pretty good and I have one object now. Now, what is actually great about the OBJ format? What is actually really nice about the OBJ format is if you compare this to the USDC is that we have per object individual mesh exports or imports, which I then could select and selectively texturize. That's actually a really great idea if you only want to use Shaper 3D to design an object and then the individual parts later you want to give completely different materials. Because everything comes in as individual objects, I don't have to split or merge my import. Everything is basically set. There's also another very interesting difference between the USDC and the OBJ format. So if I select everything and then I go into edit mode, you will see that, for example, the OBJ format is at times much finer meshed, but also if we take a look at this and took a look, look at that, the OBJ format seems at times also to be much cleaner. So OBJ is actually really a great format for rendering if we also want to 3D print something, while the USDZ format is set up to be a resource uh, effective format for virtual reality, augmented reality, or loading this into, for example, a web page. So to summarize, you have a design that is textured and you want to render it, you can use USDZ. And if you have a design, you want to create your own materials for it on a per object basis, then OBJ will be the best bet. And what is really great about the export from Shaper 3D, you see both objects come to scale. And that's it.